So I ordered the cheapest fishing reel I could find on Amazon. This thing was $3.12, and it took a little while to get to my house. Clearly it came from China. It's got some Chinese writing on it. It wasn't even made out to me. A blank package showed up from China at my front door. I could not remember what it was. I was like, what is this? And then it hit me. I ordered the cheapest fishing reel I could find on Amazon, and here it is. It showed up. So we're out here at Lake Balboa. We're gonna unbox this thing, see what you can get for $3, see the quality of it. Also wanna try to just destroy it and see how crappy it is. So stick around to the end, we're gonna have some fun. So the packaging is pretty, uh, I mean, there's no box. At least it doesn't feel like there's a box. It's that really thin, cheap plastic but with what feels like some foam underneath it. Oh no, it might be in a box, it might be in a box. Taking a little extra care of it, I guess. All right, inside of another box, here we go. What do we got? The HT200, so this is a 200 size reel. I honestly don't, I don't remember what color we got. I don't remember uh, any of it. We got some information on the box. Long cast spool, S-curve oscillating system, large diameter line roller, zero vibrative balanced rotor system, 35 mole space, tip points, anti-reverse mechanism, high gear ratios five to one, sensible graphite body construction. So, whatever, you know, I guess that sounds fancy or whatever. Let's get this open, see what's inside. Okay, okay, not bad. Wow, that feels, is this like 3D printed? I mean, it feels like there's plastic, like there's plastic cheap reels and then there's like whatever this is, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to see, oh, it does have some line on it. Okay, it came pre-spooled with a little bit of line. I can't tell what that is. Maybe like six pound mono or something. Oh God, that sounds horrible. That feels and sounds horrible. It's, this bale is like grinds open. Everything about this, like initial first impressions is so cheap. I'm curious to see how the drag system works on this thing. Looks like we do have the, the lock release. You know what it almost looks like? So this is my BG3000. This is a 2000, it's a little bit smaller, but kind of a similar back end here as that one. But I mean, clearly the build quality is like not even remotely in the in, in and of the same, in the same world. It's like everything's like super like poorly printed on here too. Like the edges of all the text look horrible. I mean, it's a $3 reel for sure. This is a, this is a pretty much what I would expect to see with a, with a $3 Real. I feel like I'm insulting this Daiwa rod by putting this on here. Sorry, Daiwa. You're better than this. I can't tell what that is. It's like the, it's like where they tied the line to the spool or something, but it's like the tag ends from the inside of the spool sticking straight up. Like, I don't know where that ends. If that goes all the way down, that's stupid. That's like totally, obviously catching the line on the way out. That's dumb. All right, I'm gonna strap on the GoPro. I'll see you guys out at the water. Oh God, did you hear the drag? It's so unsmooth. Let's see if you can hear it. Oh, it's so bad. Holy crap, let me loosen that up, I guess. It's a little bit better. Man, this is, the handle where you put your finger is so small. Like I feel like it's, it's like I'm slipping off. All right, here we go, first cast. $3, $3.12 cent reel from China. Yeah, that definitely goes down to the bottom. It's still going. There's another one here. It's like three lines coming out of it. I just chipped some of that paint off. I cast it a lot longer when I cut those things down. There's still one, but whatever. Initial impressions, it actually it isn't performing too bad. It's casting pretty good. I'm actually gonna put on this thing, which I used out here a long time ago, but it was getting bit. I have that and I have it in this goldfish color too. I don't know, this is already rigged up. Let's throw the silver for a minute, see if we can get bit on that. If not, we'll switch to the gold. If these bass are keyed in on bait fish, I mean, I feel pretty confident with this because it looks maybe like those silver sides that are in here. Ooh, I do see a bunch of followers. A lot of followers. Look like, I mean, they're all like dink little bass, I think is what they are. This thing's causing some uh, commotion though. Maybe some bigger fish will come scope it out. Let's see if the color change makes a difference. Ooh, 
Ooh, got a hit. Got a hit right there. I saw it too. Come up to it. All right, so first cast on gold. We got a uh, we got a lot more uh, action. First cast. I'm gonna go whipper snapper. No whipper snapper eighty. Oh, we got one. Oh my God, we got one. <laughs> that is about the size fish I would expect uh, this reel to handle. Is that right there. <laughs> Little guy, there we go. That was no problem for the reel. If you want to fish these guys, no problem. I knew that line knot was going to get me at some point. Oh, big bass jump right there. Big bass right there. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. God, the handle's already starting to break off. It's kind of loose. It's better. Oh, it broke off. The handle just broke off. <laughs> wow, seriously? Look at this. There's like a little bearing or star or something. Something was supposed to go in here. That's completely stripped out. What just, wow, man. It fell apart. It's been one hour and eight minutes. And uh, it's already broken. One hour and eight minutes. It's broke. Can't do anything with this. It's broken. Wow. Well guys, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I didn't expect much out of this reel. I expected way more than an hour and eight minutes before it just completely broke. I mean, the way this handle was in here, it wasn't even like, it's not even screwed in. I, well, I guess it was screwed in, but the, the threading is like this incredibly cheap plastic, I guess, I don't even know. You can see where that has been spinning though inside of this. It, you just push it on basically. It just it was like a push on. This is crazy, piece of crap. And this, look, this was already starting to fall apart. I don't know how much longer this thing had. I don't know why you would buy this, why you would spend money on this. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm pretty disappointed about this. I really did want a 200 size setup to do some lighter weight fishing and I need to have a proper setup and this, this ain't gonna cut it. If you guys like this episode, be sure you stick around and check out this one right here. Be sure you hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos and I'll see you guys in the next episode.